Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. So today, oh, I'm Purple Elf Gaming here, and today we are playing some more outro because there was an update. So I'm a little bit embarrassed because I'm a little bit late to this update. So first thing that's cool, all 16 chapters are now on hero mode. I don't think there are any new ones in normal mode, no. So that's cool. But the actual exciting things is, A, they changed this to patrol, so now you can see like what stat boosts make a bigger difference and different heroes increase that. So that's sort of cool. The main thing from this update, however, is evolutions. Hero evolution. So you use evolution cookies, as as you do, to upgrade your hero and cool stuff. And apparently it increases your patrol ward or patrol rewards, which I guess is basically what like they were calling your time rewards. And um, there's a couple new items. Let's see, here we go. There's a crossbow, which I have no idea what it does. There are two new amulets and two, moon, two new necklaces. I have one of them. I believe I have the necromancer one. Yes. Bloodthirsty locket, yeah. Can recover HP on kills when HP is lower than 17%. Also a cool thing is they actually tell you when you get a new skill. So at epic, it gets HP drops less 20%. So that's cool, but um, it, it's still nowhere compared to the agile locket so i think i have to hold on to this one for now so yeah we have a lot of stuff to do um this isn't the entire update i will show you some more stuff in a second just want to get my fusions daily fuse done um but yeah it's a pretty big update from what i can see here's the next thing desert ghost so this you get well this you get the chips and you also get these called soul stones, which the only use of soul stones is this shop, which is very interesting. So, let's read it. Once the event is ended, remaining soul stones will be claimed automatically as random hero shards. Please remember to claim it in advance. So that's not the end of the world. I definitely won't mind that, because personally, I did a little bit of research, and it seems like this is the best option for a couple of reasons. So I got one of these for free, a roller shard. So this is cool. This is something I'm actually super excited about. They made it so you can get the heroes that cost money without spending money. So now you can get heroes if you have 30 of their shards. So if we look here, we go to Rula, who's the only one I have of one of. Look, one of 30 hero shards. If we get all of them, well, let's read the description as well. Use it to summon and evolve Rula. So if we get 30 of them, we can get Rula, which otherwise was impossible to get without spending money. Um, so yeah, you can get another one of those for 30, you can also get another one of O'Neo's for, sh or one of O'Neo's for 20, all of the basic ones, but truthfully, I kind of want random shards because the only person I really want, Sylvan. I'm pretty sure Sylvan is the strongest. Also, they've added a free trial, so I can actually test on all of the heroes now. And there's a new hero called Ophelia, so I'm going to quickly show you Ophelia. She looks really cool, and she definitely looks like she could be super powerful, but I don't know. So basically, as you damage, you get these, and each one is a different ability. So the green one increases your attack speed. The blue one creates an explosion on impact for a little while. And you can, they get on the stack, by the way, you can only have one at a time. I think the red one increases your crit damage drastically, but it might just increase your damage. And can we get up our orange one? I'm not quite sure what the orange one does. Let's see. So, I think they just spawn naturally. Okay, here we go. Orange one. As you saw that, we actually get bigger. And if we go down... I th do we get bigger? I think we get bigger. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we do. I'm really... I think that increases our crit chance drastically. But I'm not quite sure. But anyways, she's cool. Nothing too interesting with her. But definitely cool. Basically, if you read the description, chance to suck and absorb enemy souls, increasing their own strength. So, that's definitely cool. So, yeah, you can actually get these guys now. Though it definitely doesn't look like it's going to be easy. But I'm excited. So hero evolutions, by the way, you have to be at least level 30. Which is, you know, pretty cool, I guess. And what seems to be the case is that you use the evolution chips to get percentages of the way to evolve. This is like plus 20%. So I guess 100% evolution gets a star. There are seven stars. Some are all heroes' abilities. Some are normal. Pretty cool. Overall, they don't seem that important. And also, with patrol, as you see here, it's like 
Sapphire owning plus 4% and Leech Star plus 6%. So that's cool. And then there's also different abilities for different ones of them. Which is really cool. I really like how they've changed this setup. I think it's a pretty cool design. And finally, there's the actual stage. So let's do the stage because personally, I want to do better. I've already played the stage because... Well, I woke up to the update. Apparently, the updates... I do feel bad, because the update's been out for two days. But, yeah. So, this is a cool thing, too. This stage... There's a random one of your heroes... Or not... It doesn't have to be one you have, I'm not sure. It might. Um, I don't think it does, though. And a random one of them, and it gives you their skill. So, now I have Thunderstorm and my cat skill. Last time, I got Helix's. Increased damage at low HP. So his is good, but this guy's is really good too for group damage. So there are 10 waves, there's 10 of them. I'm not sure what happens if you wait 150 seconds for the countdown. I'm pretty sure you lose, though you might just instant- You I'm you basically in either instantly win or instantly lose, I have no idea which. Don't really want to test that out right now, but it seems pretty cool. Uh, I made it to stage 13 and died. So, I have no clue when the end is. I'm assuming the end is around 20. It could be infinite, but I kind of doubt it. So, I'm assuming it ends on around 20, like most of these do. If it doesn't, then I'm going to assume it's infinite. But, probably ends around 20. Hopefully, we'll find out. I really do want to win this, because these items... The evolutions seem very useful, especially depending on them. With the new patrol upgrades, that can be huge. It can be, like, plus 4%. XP gain, or gold gain, which is pretty insane because your patrol, or at least mine since I have it at its high level, it gives you a lot of gold and XP and scrolls and all that stuff, so it makes a big difference. Um, soul shards with this also allow us to, um, well, unlock the new heroes, the heroes that otherwise cost money, which is going to be super exciting because, well... Otherwise, I was never planning on spending the money, because they're really expensive. And it's going to be really cool now that they're available. I really like games that do it like this. Basically, where if you... There is stuff you can buy, but you can also own it for free. You can make it harder if you want. Some games do make it almost impossible. But I like when games make it still possible to get. It doesn't have to be likely, but it's still doable without, like, insane, insane luck. And I like that quite a bit when games do it like that. But yeah, this is going to be quite challenging. Um, hopefully I won't die too much or too early. I really, I do want to make it long, but this is, they're quite hard. They're definitely not an easy challenge. Which says something because, I mean, I'm not, I'm not at the end stage of this game, but I've gotten pretty powerful. Though I'm sure I'm going to be adjusting more from... With the hero evolutions now is going to make me even stronger than I was before. And just tons of crazy things to increase our power level. Here we go. We have our first soul stone drop. So that's cool. But yeah. So personally, evolution ship. There we go. So personally, I really want Sylvan. Because I hear Sylvan super good with his ultimate elemental attacks. That was close. And um, I also want the new hero. Because she looks really cool and interesting and fun to play as well. Those are the two pay... Um, I don't know, costs, real money costing heroes that I really want from chips. Uh, hopefully we'll get lucky, because if not, then, I don't know, I don't really have anything else to do if not. But yeah, so this seems like a really cool game mode. Personally, I don't really want hero evolutions. I really like the idea of being able to get heroes that otherwise you could only get for spending money. But just, hero evolutions, they're like... I mean, it makes sense they added heroes first, then they added upgrading heroes, now they're adding evolutions for the heroes. But I just... I feel like it would have been better if they did something else. I mean, it's definitely not bad. It's not a bad way to tone the game. And I like, like, considering what they were doing, I do like how they have it set up. Personally, I think it would have been super cool if they did it where, in order to evolve your hero, as opposed to using, like, hero chips, though you could have used evolution chips or whatever as well. I think it would be super cool if you could do it, my leveling up screen is shaking, that's odd, if you could do it by like, you have to play this much with your hero, or on this much hero XP, I think that would have been cooler, but it's not this game style, so I get it. 
I honestly, I think I'm gonna go for Bloodthirst. I really want front arrows, but Bloodthirst is gonna help me a lot to, well, stay alive. Dodge Master as well. So I think I'm gonna have to go with Bloodthirst and hope that I get an another projectile bonus soon because fighting one projectile is a big disadvantage. So this is our first boss. One every five stages. This isn't that hard of a boss, especially since we have like our group lightning attack, but this definitely won't be easy. Definitely won't be easy. Okay, so if you don't know, this guy, once you kill his first stage, he splits into like, I think it's ten different of the red guys, which then each split into two blues. And overall, it becomes very difficult very quickly, very overwhelming. Here we go. So this is the worst part. When there's only one, you can sort of dodge them. I don't like these guys personally because they have very sporadic movements. I prefer ones like, oh, the snakes follow you, the... I just prefer the bees, which they don't follow you, but they sort of do, and they have a sort of, like, set pattern. I don't really like the hopping ones, but you know what? They're pretty cool. They're not that bad. They're like the original enemies. I'm so nervous right now. I really need another heart dudes. This is also very... Yeah, I'm... Okay, so that walk, that's okay, but it sucks to use our free revive this early. If they offer me one with gems, truthfully, I'm probably gonna spend it because gems are super valuable and all, but 30 gems isn't worth that much. And these items, this is the only way to get them. Once a day, unless you want to spend the insane, like, 100 gems or whatever it is to get second try to buy another ticket or whatever for the event. You get this once a day, which isn't that bad, at least it's every day, could have been way worse, don't get me wrong, but definitely not the best. We seem to be getting very lucky with our evolution chip drops, which is good, but yeah. So personally, I don't really mind if I have to spend 30 gems later, if they allow me to. I doubt they will, they usually only let you do one in five, whether it be with gems or add, but who knows. Regardless, it will be good. Hopefully, my goal should is to beat it to reach round 20, but we just lost our first life on round, and likely our only <laughs> revive, on round 5 to the first boss, which, if there's 20 stages, there's 4 bosses, so my odds do not look very good, unless I get some super insane upgrades like Diagonal Arrow, and then, um, what's the next really good one? Diagonal Arrows, and then, like... The additional error, I forget the fancy word for it. Okay, they're getting stronger, because I see the damage up symbol. Ah. We did so bad. I did so bad there. We still got 10 cookies, which is pretty good. But man, we did bad then. Yeah, we can get another one for 100 gems. No, thank you. But yeah, so we have 17. Um... Well, I know what I'm going for. I'm going for a random hero shot. Please give us someone good. Not bad, not bad. So he this is interesting because him we already have. We don't even have evolutions unlocked since he's not level 30, but we already have him. So I believe you can use his hero shards to evolve him. I think that's how it works, that's what they say. If you look at their description, use it to summon and evolve Helix, so yeah. I'm gonna assume that's gonna help us evolve him, which is good. All, I guess the rewards are going to be changing in 21 hours, which I'd be interested if they give you a free one every single time. That would be cool. Or if it's some roller event. We also have this, the um, double drop rates for new items in Hero and Normal Stage. So that's good. Personally, I'm on the grind. I feel like I'm ready to do the grind. Beat Capital. Hopefully even beat Dungeon Traps. I really want to make progress because... This is the only update so far where they haven't added another stage, and I really... These updates are awesome, because new content is awesome, but man, I need... Need to make my progression. Big thing, though. As you see, by the way, we're level 60, I forgot about that. We have our new room, which is courage. I don't really like how it works, to be honest. Basically, it just increases hero stats, specifically, which is an end attack. Which isn't great, I don't really like it that much, but whatever, I guess it makes sense with courage. And then we unlock the rare stats, which are cool, but like, HP drops, that's helpful. But chilling blast, chance, and holy touches damage, they're random upgrade boosts, which are definitely helpful, but they're not like, 
I can't believe how powerful this is. This is incredible. Also, though, we have our plus 4% damage from Meowjik at level 60. And Tyrannus, we are about to get as well. So that is a big boost. 4%, you have no idea how large of a number 4% is. But yeah, that's pretty crazy. Um, the next actual level 60, what should we go for next? Max HP, crit damage, crit chance. I feel like I'm going to go with crit chance for foreign because I just feel like that would be pretty cool to do. But yeah, we're up to 18 cookies. I was kind of hoping we'd reach 20 so we could do our first evolution or first step in the evolution process. But regardless, this is pretty cool. Pretty cool nonetheless. So, um, let's do some expeditions quickly. I'm on stage 126. If I remember correctly, I believe there are 320, unless they added more in the update, which is definitely not unlike them to do. Makes sense, once again, all in the name of new content. But yeah, I know there's at least 320. I'm only on 125, which, in case you're fairly bad at math, is not 120, so that's, that's not very good. Happy Sunday, by the way. I like to do this earlier in my video, but I often forget. Happy Sunday to all of you. If you're not watching this on Sunday, then happy whatever day of the week it is. And if it's not a happy day for you, well then why isn't it a happy day? Try your best to make it a happy day, and if you can't, eh, you can sit inside and watch YouTube videos. That generally makes it a pretty decent day in my opinion. So yeah, enjoy your day. Um, just make sure to be happy, try something new. I don't know, general good day things. All right, 127. Attack speed de increase 30%, attack decrease 30%. I don't really get why they consider them red. They do red, by the way, red or green, depending on if it's positive or negative. Decreasing, but then also increasing. I don't really consider that a negative. It's not, obviously, it's not an instant positive, but definitely not a negative. We've been getting very lucky with these two rounds with our upgrades available. That is quite useful. But yeah, I think this update is pretty cool. I'm sure it'll add quite a bit of new content. Ah, you explode into fire. Is that what you do, Mr. Red Dude? Mr. Red Crawly? Could be Crawly? Yeah, you just go into fire. That's really cool, actually. I mean, that's scary and not going to be fun to deal with, but that's really cool. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, but yeah, I think the update's good. I think it'll keep me busy. Definitely keep me glued back to the game, which I've been slowly doing a little less AFK stuff. Or not AFK, but like grinding stuff, but. This update is definitely going to get me back into it. So, good job to you, Outro. Good job for your update. Um, I can't wait to see what's next from you. You always surprise me. I was not expecting Hero Evolutions. Um, what do I think will be next, to be honest? Looking at this hero menu, I feel like they're going to do one up here, and you know what I think it's... Oh, I guess you can't see where I'm pointing. But anyways, like, you know where his hat is? Magic Cat's hat? I feel like they're going to do a square up there to be even sort of with our ultimate. They might not, but I feel like they might. And if they do, I feel like it's going to be hat. Because in my personal opinion, with all the stuff they have right now, if they wanted to add a little bit more equipment, I feel like it would be cool to add hats. Not that I want them to add hats, I just feel like that would fit. Though I don't know, I just like magic hats. Or Meowjik's hat. No one else has a hat. He has a hood. He has a war helmet. But no one else... Well, he has... I want to say animal pelt, but that's not actually a pelt. But yeah. Pretty interesting stuff, regardless. Um, I'm excited for all of this. New content, new heroes. The availability of purchased heroes for free. That's gonna be awesome. It's just... It's all very exciting. Like, I really like this idea, too. Being able to take a look at different heroes, even though you don't have them. Like, O'Neo, he's not my favorite, but you know what? I really do like, um, whatever the weaker version of this is, Enlightenment, I think. Or Light Bolts, or Lightning Bolts, or whatever they're called. That was a bit of a lag. And he's just pretty cool. I like it quite a bit. And it goes through walls, which is an even extra bonus. Okay, but yeah, that was pretty cool. I really do 
appreciate all of you guys watching. I will see you all tomorrow. Have an awesome day. Enjoy yourself. Please consider subscribing to join the Pulp Elephant Squad. It makes my day and it's pretty nice. Also, double check if you have subscribed that you're still subscribed because I've been hearing quite a bit about a fairly unfortunate YouTube bug which causes people to unsubscribe sort of at random. So please double check that you are if you want to be and please consider giving the video a like if you enjoyed. I hope you have an awesome day. Have a good day. I'll see you all tomorrow. Have a good... Oh man, I said have a good day way too much. I'm not going to say it anymore. Have a good day. Goodbye. <laughs>